You know, even eons can be killed. Is it so unthinkable? There are many stories about fallen eons. Lon the Permanence, Drilla the Beauty, Anna the Order, Tazeranth the Propagation, Akivili the Trailblaze. Hmm? These names were once known all over the universe. And now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. And currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide, and the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Two, in a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how Tazeranth the Propagation fell. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the Abundance. So, the Sienjo too are engaged in this process. I don't know. Akavili's disappearance was very mysterious. Noose is probably the only one that can answer that question. After all, Droid Head knows everything. What do you think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> They're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. Hold on. Any minute now. <laughs> it's begun. Let's go, Blady. Two more places to visit. <laughs> Did Kafka escape? Uh, how are we gonna explain this to the Master Diviner? If what she said is true, we won't have to explain anything. Hey, did she brainwash you? Wasn't this the dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? How did it grow all of a sudden? Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime. I'm so lucky! Such extraordinary energy. It's the Stellaron. Mr. Yang, do you mean... The Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? Yes. The Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly. Unless Kafka deceived the Matrix of Prescience. Stay calm, Diviner Fu. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Lofu. The Stellaron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Lofu's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, that shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. You... General, when did you have these suspicions? The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed themselves. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter. 
and only another Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship, and yet it bypassed both the seat of Divine Foresight and the Shackling Prison. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. The Stellaron Hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, it was clear to me. But why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? Hm. That piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Nevertheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron Hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. <laughs> Who would have believed it? General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. The traitors have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's delve, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Every crisis is a turning point. A problem is easier to resolve when you know where it lies. Am I coming up with a plan again? Of course. I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. From my perspective, Convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. Mmm, as ever the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However, sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? General? Well? You're a scoundrel. <laughs> Pulling up the grass requires removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control and the traitors have run out of patience. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. You've been sitting on that this whole time? How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? Please, Lady Fu. I still have forces to deploy. We were in need of extra hands, and the Stellaron Hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way? <sighs> the General smiling again. Definitely errands. It's my fault. I had higher expectations of the General. Please, we can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Since when did we run out of people on the Law Fu? You... Why are you staring at me? Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret? Allowing Outworlders would be... A violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady Fu, that the Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations, all the more so in times of crisis. As such, I am about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions plural. <laughs> what a rare pleasure. Lady Fu, I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Delve. Under... my control? You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general, have you not? You've never given me the opportunity and now suddenly... <clears throat> Understood. As you wish. As for our astral friends, 
I hereby formally welcome you all to join our Operation to seal the Stellarog. Lady Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission, and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. This is no errand, honored guest. I am merely stating what needs to be done, should you wish to help us. You've never really seen us as outsiders, huh? Miss Tingyun, I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. Oh, of course, General. I am duty-bound. The Alchemy Commission and Scale Gorge Waterscape Delves are adjacent to the Ambrosial Arbor Seal. I'd like you to investigate these places. It is an ancient artifact that was planted on the Sienjo Lafu by Yaosha, the Eon of Abundance. It has the power to shape life and subdue death at will. The ancestors of the Lafu people consumed the fruits of the Ambrosial Arbor and gained endless lifespans thus becoming long-life species. Ah, oh, sounds like an amazing treasure. Yes. It was also the bane of everything to come. As outsiders, you are unfamiliar with the history of the Sienjo. I cannot blame you for asking a question like this. Let me tell you a story. Long ago, before the Sienjo took to the skies, our ancestors lived on the surface of a planet. Like all of you, the Sienjo people at that time were a mortal species with a lifespan of fewer than 100 years. There was a time when the ruling emperor could not bear his temporary existence, or the thought of his life's achievements being lost to another after his death. He became fixated on acquiring an elixir of immortality, and focused his power on constructing a fleet of nine ships. These ships would voyage into deep space, where traces of gods were rumored to exist. Did he... succeed? Yes. And no. He succeeded because, after an arduous journey, the Nine Ships eventually witnessed the manifestation of a god. Yao Shou's appearance provided for all manner of unfathomable celestial blessings. However, he failed because the fleet has been lost ever since, and has never been able to return to its home planet. That doesn't sound so bad. The Sienjo people went on a great adventure and got what they wanted in the end. Right? Oh? Our ancestors once thought so too, but the miracle of longevity was nothing more than a vain dream. Take the La Fu, for example. Immortality seemed like a beautiful thing. But what followed was population expansion and diminishing resources. In the struggle for survival, the Immortals lost their humanity and degenerated into mere beasts. After paying the price with blood and tears, the Lafu people finally understood that immortality was not a free blessing, but the beginning of a cruel ordeal. In the eras that followed, other beings that had likewise received Yaosher's blessings repeatedly attacked the Xianzhou in an attempt to take the sacred artifact as their own. Countless atrocities were committed as a result. Many Xianzhou comrades who were lucky enough to survive the wars became stricken with Mara, a condition that immortals are susceptible to. Had it not been for the enlightenment and protection of the Rainbow Arbiter, the Sienjo Alliance you see today would never have existed. At this point in the story, I assume you understand the disasters that the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor might bring about? Thousands of years have passed since the Rainbow Arbiter felled the Ambrosial Arbor. Most in the Sienjo regard the arbor as nothing more than the stump of a dead tree. 
Only those familiar with our history and the ancient texts know of its origin. Our ancestors placed the stump in full view of the people precisely to make it seem unimportant. But in fact, they sealed it behind layers upon layers of Delph enchantment. Even if one travels toward the Ambrosial Arbor, one will never reach it. Someone brought a Stellaron into the Sienjo and planted it among the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor. They wish to resurrect it and achieve their hidden goal through external aggression. In my opinion, the force that provided the Stellaron and the force that activated it have different objectives. I have asked Fu Shen to open a shortcut to the Divination Commission for you. The Alchemy Commission and Scale Gorge Waterscape delves are adjacent to the Ambrosial Arbor Seal. I'd like you to investigate these places. I have asked Fu Shen to open a shortcut to the Divination Commission for you. A step forward bridges no distance hence. Uh, the hexagram was right. The Ambrosial Arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Now it returns to life. The future of the Xian Zhou is difficult to define. I had long anticipated it. Huh? She's not angry? Uh, is there anyone that isn't two steps ahead of us around here? Pursuing Kafka is a waste of time and effort. The Matrix of Prescience informed me of her innocence. Our priority is the Ambrosial Arbor. From the time the Stellaron corrosion began to spread until now, the only reports we've received on the Alchemy Commission have come from alchemists and doctors stationed in other delves. The Alchemy Commission is where the Sien Zhou's medical research and production take place. However, due to its proximity to the Ambrosial Arbor's seal, I'm afraid the Stellaron spirits may have plunged it into a deeper crisis than we first feared. To make matters worse, the General suspects there are traitors in the Alchemy Commission. The self-proclaimed disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been plotting this for a long time. And now they're using the location to their advantage. I must take action as soon as possible. He really is a delegator at heart, isn't he? There isn't much distance between the artisanship and alchemy commissions. I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. The Star Skiff is ready. I will lead the way. I still have important tasks from the General to attend to. Go carefully, all of you. Uh, wait, wait! Master Diviner! Can you... divine our fortunes for us? Is there anything we need to watch out for? No need. My Omnisha has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. Uh, are you sure? You don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? Well said. Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Onward! Huh? Look at all the people gathered here. Not a good day for commuting on the Lafu. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron Corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken Stars' gifts to safety? Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. <sighs> At the end of the day, work is work. You need it to live. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Just speaking from the heart, that's all. I think they call that complaining from the heart. Are any of the paths in this world easy to tread? 
The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots, you get the picture. It seems like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in, but they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. Either way, we'll have to go in. Let's ask around first.